Are you curious about the new tear and tape adhesive from Stampin' Up? Keep watching for a product review and a comparison to other Stampin' Up adhesives. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another product review video for card makers and paper crafters. Tear and Tape is a new addition to Stampin' Up's line of adhesives. It replaces Sticky Strip, a longtime favorite of mine, which retired this month. I decided to test this out and give you my opinion. Both of these adhesives are extra strong. I've always used Sticky Strip with 3D projects where there will be a lot of stress on the adhesive bond. I made this little treat box to see how tear and tape measures up to my old standby. First and best of all, as the name indicates, you can skip the step of cutting the tape like you do with sticky strip. With tear and tape, you just tear it and apply it to your cardstock. In addition, removing the liner from tear and tape is much easier and the liner doesn't cling to your fingers like it does with sticky strip. Here's another improvement. With sticky strip, once the adhesive touches the cardstock, you can't pull it apart and to reposition it if you get it on crooked. With tear and tape, I found that I could reposition it as long as I didn't press down on that bond. I could pull it apart again. It's a little more forgiving than sticky strip. With this benefit in mind, I decided to try it for adhering layers together. I used to use snail, but was having trouble with it coming undone after a card was finished. So last year, I switched to fast fuse. This is a very permanent adhesive that doesn't ever come undone that I've seen. The drawback is once it touches the cardstock, it's on there, and you can't really adjust the position. So it's challenging to use, especially for beginners. So here's an art piece that I adhered to a mat with tear and tape, and you can see it's adhered quite strongly. I can't pull it apart. And I'm gonna show you what it's like to add it to the next mat. So I've removed the liners from the tear and tape and I'll gently place this on the mat and then I can nudge the art piece into place until it's nice and straight and then I can press down. It's forgiving enough that I can take my time to position it. So you can see this is a great adhesive for anyone who's having trouble aligning layers evenly with snail or fast fuse. Just like sticky strip, if you really need to take a seam apart after it's been well bonded, you can take a heat tool and heat up that seam and it will melt the adhesive. But tear and tape actually melts faster with less heat and less damage to your cardstock. All in all, I'm very satisfied with the new tear and tape adhesive and think you'll love it as well. It's easier to use than sticky strip and appears to be just as strong. If you want to learn how to make a little treat box like this, just use the link in the top right corner of the video player. I'll also put the link under the video for you. Thanks for watching. Now it's time for you to do your part. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com. And don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button now.